guys, you ever had that problem where your CB cables just hanging in your way, swinging in the wind when you're driving down the road? I have that problem with mine. I'm gonna show you how to shorten it. My CB hangs from my roof and my Jeep. So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and shorten this. So let's go get it done. You guys ever had a cable that's this long? Look how long that is. on here there's four screws I already taken out one of them at one two three four screws to go ahead and uh, open this up basically it's a cam sh a clamshell and we're gonna go ahead and open this up so stand by while I take off the screws I separated the clam shell there's just three screws are there I have the other one there it's holding on that CV uh, cord Here's the switch here. Basically, we're gonna have to unsolder these wires. Um, and then we're gonna cut this cable down. I'm gonna cut off quite a bit of it, shorten it up, and then we're gonna re-solder it. Shouldn't be too difficult to do. Move this string leaf here. This is just a switch. Mic switch. Momentary switch. So we're going to go ahead and remove this and see what that leaves us. There's a little string relief. I'll take that from here. And uh, so this is the spring. We'll just slide this down. And then we're just going to pull the switch out here. So the switch just comes out of those two little grooves. Got to be a little extra careful for here. It looks like there's a couple of... Uh, red and a white wire here. I'm sure that goes to the to the mic. Uh, so we're not going to be used and moving those. as well. We'll see. So now we're going to just solder this. When I do that, Okay, there we go, and then we're going to have to cut this this wire here, and get a pair of cutters. And I'm going to just cut this wire here, I'll just cut it right here in the middle for now. There we go, now we have that completely separated, that long cable. So we're going to cut this a lot. I don't know, I think we're going to maybe do this once or twice, but we're going to take half of it for sure. Cut it right here. There we go. There we go. Hopefully, that won't be too bad. Now i got to strip this. Cut all these strings out.
kind of a pain. Trying to get all those little wires out of there. All right, so we're just gonna put these off to the side. All right. Then. Okay, I'm gonna strip each one of these. Cut that one a little short, but we'll be okay. Okay. Then. I'm gonna take this. Shrink on this, that way. When we solder it, we can heat shrink it. So we got that. And now we gotta so do that. Okay, stand by, I'm gonna go ahead and solder this again. We just soldered this, this goes to the mic, as far as the, the mic and the handset. So we soldered these white wires back together, put heat shrink on it. Now we're gonna shrink that heat shrink. We're just gonna take our heat gun here. I don't know where he got this. This is just a heat gun. Chicago must be from Harbor Freight. And I'm just going to shrink that down. Just like that. Done. Let's solder the yellow wire back to this lead. We took a picture of this beforehand just to make sure and also wrote it down on a piece of paper. Yellow. Let me put a little more solder on it. Just hopefully it doesn't come undone. Two more. We have this black one. I gotta put a little bit of heat shrink around it. Take this heat shrink and just kind of put it in place where here it doesn't move. And we're gonna tin this in. Did that wrong. It's okay. 
Got a geek. Think you want to We're gonna solder this one here. Okay. Now look like they're pretty tight. that like that. We're going to bring our strainer leaf back up. back in. Our two extra, two screws that held in the clamp. This is called a strain release. Just that when it pulls on it, it doesn't pull actually on the switch. Kind of get it lined up how we want it, make sure it's gonna fit fine. Pull that down just a little bit. We're gonna tighten these up. Like so. Make sure there's no wires that are pinched. Like so. We gotta find the mic trigger. Oh. Yeah, we got it upside down, so it needs to be that way. Get the mic trigger. That. And we're gonna put this back on, put the clamshell back on.
that. This one here. This one is just my gear keeper. It's just a retractor. I'm gonna put that on. And that didn't work out so good. I gotta take it apart. <laughs> that okay, just make sure these are nice snug there they are. And there's our mic the distance now that's how long it is so hopefully that'll be better i'm gonna go ahead and install this back on the cb radio and i'll be back with you in a minute bye all right guys i'm going to go ahead and finish this video and show you um, how the cb mic turned out um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it installed in the jeep this is the mic that hooks up to uh, my radio for my phone here's a uh, little mic off like that as you can see, the length is working out pretty good. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Thank you very much.